times have you been bitten by venomous snakes? Well, I always say, you know, 13. I, well, I said 12, 13. After this last one, I had to add that one on. But I would say 13 that were, you know, of significance, you know, not just a little scratch or something that were bad. That's, that's going back to, you know, my teenage years, starting with the little pygmy rattlesnake bite that I had when I was in high school. You know. How many snakes are you handling per day? Right now we're probably at, uh, you know, it, it averages 40, 50, but sometimes if we're behind, Mondays the day we're closed, that's our sort of our catch-up day, you know. So, but we have right now somewhere probably right around 500 snakes that we cycle through, and we try to get through the group about every 20 days. I'm a, no, I've never had a problem with any anti-venom, but I'm allergic to just about every venom out there. Every time I get even just a nick now, if I get just a, you know, a little couple of drops of venom, I got to shoot, you know, I keep a syringe ready to just to shoot that epinephrine. Actually, one of the worst cobra bites I had was uh, just about eight months ago. One of these young monocle cobras got hold of my finger in a feeding response bite. It was a bad move that I made, but he got me good and he really loaded me up and I, by the time I shot epinephrine immediately within less than a minute after the bite because I knew it was coming. And when I got to the hospital, I, they couldn't get a pulse. They, you know, I was completely, I was conscious, but I couldn't move and I, they couldn't get a pulse. And, uh, but I had a very good doctor, Carson, was in the emergency room and he gave me eight vials of uh, specific mono, monocle cobra antivenom very quickly. One thing I've learned about anaphylaxis and snake bite, if you're allergic to the venom and you're going into anaphylaxis or you're having an allergic reaction, as soon as they start giving you the antivenom and those toxins become neutralized, that, that anaphylaxis dissipates very quickly. So by forming that complex bond between the antibody and, and the toxin, it changes the whole uh, chemistry of that histamine thing, whatever is going on there in, in your immune system that causes that, that reaction. I've had that happen in the past. I, I had a monocle cobra bite, not as severe as that one, but it was some time ago, and I was right on the edge of that anaphylaxis. It was, and as soon as I told uh, Dr. McMillan to open the IV, and I could feel, in fact, I could taste the triacrosol, the, the, the preservative that they put in that antivenom, and as soon as I felt that, that feeling, that anaphylaxis just dissipated almost immediately. It was just, you know, quick.